Hey guys, I have you on my Philips Norelco electric shaver. So this is the 3000 series. In this video I want to show you how to replace the battery once it doesn't work so well anymore. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is take the back cover off and the tool that we need for that is a Torx 8 bit. Here you see this T8 and there's a single screw on the very bottom and just take this out really quickly. And this is going to be the only screw we have to remove during this entire replacement. So when we start to remove the back cover of the shaver, we're going to start at the bottom end because the top end here, the very corner, that's actually hooked in in a specific mechanism. So you see you can remove this on the back end, but the top is really stiff and can't really be removed. So we have to slide this into a specific direction just to unhook the top end. And uh, so I'm going to put an arrow here on the screen. You see this is the direction when you're holding it like this that you want to move the back end cover. So that's how you unhook it safely without breaking any of the plastic tabs that are inside of here. Okay, so once that is done and we remove the, the shave head, then we can start to remove the front cover. And uh, there's a whole lot of clips, plastic clips that you see here all over the place. Uh, but the only two that we are really interested in this point, at this point here, are the two blue ones that are located over here. So you see this one and then there's the second one on the opposite side of the uh, main housing here. And when we have those unhooked, then we still can't remove the uh, waterproof housing that's in the center here quite yet. But um, if you use like a small screwdriver and you wedge that here in at the bottom end where the uh, charging port is, then you can eventually pry this loose and now at this point we can remove the uh, waterproof uh, motor housing and then we have the top front cover also removed now. Okay, so now the last part we have to remove is this clear plastic cover and that's actually what keeps this whole thing waterproof and so there's another eight clips that we have to detach here and you have to do this really carefully because I think this, this plastic is kind of brittle so you don't want to break those off by accident and otherwise if you do then the shaver may not be waterproof afterwards anymore. So I'm just going to carefully try to detach them and I do this by trying to lift up the cover at one end here. See how the top end I'm trying to get my finger in between and once you've done that then it gets easier and easier until you eventually uh, will be able to remove the whole cover. So once we accomplished that and removed all the plastic parts on top of it then we can remove now here the PCB and I found that this battery is of type YC12E and I haven't really found those yet online under this type um, but it has 3.7 volts and the dimension of it is 49 millimeters by 14 millimeters. So now in case I do find one that is similar to these dimensions then I will post the link to it down in the comment section below. So the battery is soldered into position and we can't just take it out and replace it. And we actually have to unsolder these two solder joints here, those big ones. So I start out by adding some flux and then I'm going to remove the solder. So I found this actually the hardest part of the entire job just to remove all that solder that they put on there. Now once we have removed the battery then we have here the model number YC12E 680 milliamp hours. And you also see it comes with these metal tabs here on the side so that you can solder uh, them in really easily. Make sure that your replacement battery does have these. Um, it's usually not a good idea to try to solder like a wire or something right onto the battery. It's better if it's welded on. And then when it comes to installing the new battery, make sure that you have the polarization right so the negative side goes to the bottom end here on the uh, board. So you see here this tap th sticking through there, make sure you bending this over a little bit, doing the same thing with the positive side, that's all by the buttons, that's the top end of the board. And then we can already start soldering it in. I'm not going to use as much solder as the they did in the factory. I don't think that much is really necessary here at this point. Okay, so once we're done with that, I'm going to use here some alcohol to remove the uh, residue here, the uh, flux that's still on the board so that there's no corrosion in the future. And then we can already start to uh, reassemble everything. So first we have here this little icon panel that only goes in in a certain spot. There's some grooves here in the uh, 
board that this fits into then make sure that you put the plastic cover on nice and straight and that the seal is really fitting nicely so uh, this is really what keeps this shaver uh, water waterproof and then we uh, can put the uh, motor housing here back into the front cover so first the front cover at the front end and then uh, you click it in on the back end and then do you remember how we uh, removed the back cover with a little trick here on the top end so now we have to do the reverse thing here just slide this into this little slot and then we can uh, push in the uh, bottom end of the back cover also and now the last step is of course here attach the uh, T8 screw here again and then we're already done with the replacement here of the battery for the Norelco electric shaver. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below and give me a like and subscribe.